By the end of this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to make fire TikTok edits like these. Could the chosen one smoke? Start the timer. First things first, add the clip where the character is talking or being badass in the beginning. Then cut and drag the different clips where your character is walking in slow motion or mewing or whatever. You can find clips like these on YouTube. I basically record them using OBS. Edits are usually made for TikTok in YouTube shorts, so switch to the vertical format. Go to sequence, sequence settings, and then change the format to 1080 by 1920. If you notice, the clips don't match the full vertical frame. You can resize one of the clips with the scale and position options, then simply copy and paste the attributes to the other clips. Of course, you can adjust the positioning of the shots depending on your clip. Next up, download one of those TikTok trendy songs that have a lot of bass and funk. Make sure the drop is synced with whatever badass line your subject said, and if you cut the beginning part of the song, Add an audio fade to it. Cut the song in half where the drop happens and lower the volume of the first part to better hear what's being said or go to the audio interface and choose a balanced background music preset. And then add a fade in between the two audio clips. Could the chosen one smoke? For the subtitles, you can transcribe your sequence or you can just manually type in what your character is saying if it's a short dialogue. Switch to the vertical interface so you can see better and then customize your text font and colors as you please. What you can do as well is add a cinematic text fade transition and maybe a zoom in as well. Select your text, in the effect controls, click on the free Bezier tool, click on each edge to kinda make a rectangle mask like this, click on mask and drag the rectangle away from the screen, keyframe the mask path, move forward a bit and drag the rectangle back, then edit the mask feather to be 700. For the fade out, it's the exact opposite. Keyframe the mask path again and move the rectangle to the right side. Also add a zoom in to the subtitles and apply this with every subtitle you have. You can find the music and text preset used for this video in the description below. All you have to do in return is like, subscribe and comment. Maybe join the membership if you have $1 to spare to support me further. Thank you all for the help. So the first video effect we'll add to the clips post drop is the motion track in effect. Go to sequence, click on save margins, then click on show rulers. Drop the rulers vertically and horizontally. Drag these rulers to the center like this and then place the face of your subject right where the two lines meet. Place the two lines maybe on the nose or the chin. Keyframe the position setting and add keyframes each time the face moves to a different place and try to recenter it. After that, select your keyframes and ease them in. There is a camera shake in this clip, that's why this effect might look a bit over the top, so I guess it's best to use this effect if the camera in your shot is still. And yeah, pretty much this effect adds more vibrant motion to your edits. And of course, you can add this effect to all of your other clips. Obviously, sync the ending of each clip with every drop. What we can also do is add a slow motion effect. I didn't add a slow mo to all of the clips, only to this last one. Optical flow for smoother effect. Select your first clip that's after the drop and keyframe the scale option. Go 10 frames forward and add a slightly bigger value. Ease both keyframes in and drag the arrow like this. The second clip you can reverse the movement and make it look like a zoom out. Now onto the transition effects. Create an adjustment layer and place it on top. Add the lumetri color effect to it. Go to the position where the two clips meet and in the effect controls expand the basic correction tab and under light change the exposure level to 3. Keyframe that setting and go 5 frames backwards and change the level to 0. Go 10 frames forward and then change the level to 0 as well. Instead of repeating this over and over again, copy these keyframes with Ctrl C or Command C, move to the second transition point, go back 5 frames and then paste the keyframes with Ctrl V. Also, you can set the amount for some transitions to minus 3 and apply a dark light so it's not repetitive. It's a simple transition effect that looks decent and you can copy and paste the keyframes of this effect to other timeline areas. Now let's add the classic TikTok color grading effect. Create a new adjustment layer and name it color grade. Name this transitions if you want. We're gonna add a cocktail of effects so hear me out. First add the sharpen effect to this adjustment layer. Then the unsharp effect. Then add brightness and contrast and then add the lumetri color effect. Now in the effect controls make the sharpen level 25, unsharpen level 30 and the radius 10. Make the brightness level 15 and contrast 5. And if the adjustment layer is not filling the whole vertical format size, just scale it up a little bit. 
Under creative, choose this exact setting for the look. Set the intensity to 25, set the vibrance to 60, and then set the saturation to 110. Now make another adjustment layer and name it vignette. Switch to the color interface and scroll down until you see vignette. Make the amount minus 3, and you can play with these settings if you want also. For the final touches, we'll add the iconic shake transition. With no plugins, it's a little bit tricky to do, but what you can do is add yet another adjustment layer and name it shake. Add directional blur onto it, set blur length to 50, go to where the transition happens and move backwards 4 frames. Then go 4 frames forward from this transition and cut both ends. Now go to the first frame of the layer and move one frame at a time and make cuts while doing so. Then select one clip at a time like this and delete it. And you should have a nice shake effect going on with the transition. And you can copy and paste it wherever the best drop gets stronger. And that's it. You can find all of the presets of these effects in the description below. Just make sure to support me by leaving a like, sharing the video and subscribing. And like I said, you can also support me further with the $1 per month membership. So yeah, that's how you simply create a good looking TikTok edit really quickly and easily. Now feel free to check out this next tutorial.